Alright guys and gals, this is a live long play of Ally Box, a cool new Amstrad CPC game and also the winner of the CPC Retro Dev 2023 Game Creation Competition which was completed in November. And just for those of you that don't know what that is, it's a friendly yearly competition to make a new Amstrad game within 64K of RAM. So no extra memory or hardware extensions allowed and all that. It has to load from tape on a normal CPC 464. And for the winners, there's a fair amount of prize money and awards to be won. Now this was taken from an Amstream, our weekly Friday Amstrad CPC livestream, a few weeks ago where we managed to beat the game live all in one go, no cheats or snapshot reloads allowed, although it took us plenty of attempts. I thought this would make a nice extra video before the end of the year, especially because it's a new Amstrad game. Now Ally Box is from Cesar of CNG Soft who always enters a game and often ends up in the uh, top three every year, but at last, it's the first time he's won the CPC Retro Dev. I suppose it's goddamn time he did. His games are always excellent, although I think this one ruffled a few feathers I felt with many betting money on the game Sugar City for the winner. The mini Grand Theft Auto on your Amstrad, which many have pegged to win this year. And I think a lot of people went into Ally Box of its stealth mechanic expecting Metal Gear on the Amstrad, which is what it originally intended to be. However, Cesar did note that during development he ran out of memory and time to expand and explore on this uh, game mechanic. So it turned into a more of a run and gun shooter, which is how I played this, with a light, very light stealth mechanic element. So people have also criticised it for being overly hard, but once you work out the route and persevere, you should, like I did, eventually click with the game. And it actually becomes really good fun and really quite intense. And that's when it gets really good. And of course, it has lovely graphics and music. Anyway, let's get on with it. And I'll include a clip at the start that gives you a little bit of overview of how the game works and what you need to do before we start the winning run. Here we go. All right, okay, so Ally Box, sneak into the military compound and discover the secret of the Ally Box, a simple, simple stealth game in 40 kilobytes. So what um, Cesar, or CNG Soft, said about this game was, it was gonna be like a Metal Gear stealth-like game, but he ran out of memory and then ran out of time to make it a truly stealth game. So it ended up being like a mad run and gun, frantic, sh uh, shooty, blaster book kind of game. It started out like a stealth game, and you do use a bit of stealth in this at times and on this first section. But um, in the end, it becomes a run and gun dash game. And there's certain ways to get through this. I think I should stop jabbering, get on with it. Yeah, Legion, the music is awesome. So, just follow my route in this game if you want to get through it. Okay. Right, off we go. Are you ready? Second fire button punches. First fire button shoots your gun when you get the gun. What we're going to do, we actually use stealth at the first part of this game. Go in here. Get the first crate. Oh no! What I'm doing here... Wait for the um, flashing light, top right corner, to go from red, yellow, amber, green, and then we're safe. Now, I could just chill here for a second. There's usually about a sprite count limit of about four enemy sprites on a screen, or four spawns of enemy sprites. Now, I've gone in the bottom right corner because if you notice down the side of the screen, I've got a bottom half here and the right hand side here and you'll notice they always spawn, try to spawn here so I'm abusing where the screen is scrolled here and they will kind of always spawn outside of the compound I'm currently in and you notice they're always spawning here so I've scrolled it to here whereas if I go here 
they should spawn maybe the bottom. Yeah, there they come. They're not spawning inside the compound. If I come back over here, they should spawn here. A cheeser. Special operations fucked up. So they're spawning here and probably here. So at points during this run, uh, I'm going to like be hugging a wall. So I'm hugging this wall here. Whereas if, if I'm here... That's okay. If I'm here, look! See, they he spawned in here! And he despawned. So, there is like a, an element of random spawning in the game. So there's a, li there's a little bit of that going on. Mm. Okay. We'll start that again. So I just wanted to show you that, boys and girls. Okay? Right, sorry. Right. Not getting frustrated. Honest. Honest. Too close. All right. How many people in my building? Yeah, it's freaking hard. Salt your past. It's freaking hard. Is there a guy up here? No. That's good. Just a quick overdub here, and just to fill you in, we're working our way around this area clockwise, going into each of the buildings we come across, looking for green crates. Mega punches there. There's one in the building there below. Good, good, good. Looking for the green key card, submachine gun, which you've already found, ammunition and bandages. Bandages will restore our health when it gets to zero. They're very, very important. I had to waste a lot of ammo there. Get in. Alright, 70 HP, we're okay. Had to waste a lot of ammo though. I'm gonna need that ammo to get to the main. I'll be okay, Nish. I'll be okay. Uh, I know it's a reset, but reset to stop gaming as much. Become interesting. React JS because it's what I do and I'm doing at work. I've been writing lots of web apps for no reason. Sad, I know. Hey, it's what you're into, mate. It's actually useful. What use is gaming? Unless you're, well, you're making videos. I suppose that's it's a use for that, and that makes you a bit of money. Oh. Hang on. It's a useful life skill, isn't it? Damn it, I've got eight bullets left. I haven't got enough ammo now. 70 HP. Just have to cheese it with my, with my fists. Ammo! Nice! But I'm on 6 HP. I've got no ammo left! You son of a bitch. I need ammo. Give me ammo! God damn it!
Okay. Oh. Oh my god. We're actually stealthing. Uh, look, it looks like he's... Oh. Hot read chat. Good. We get detected. Here, I think we can get the amber light. There we go. Yellow, green. Just pause it there a second. Catch up the chat. Goes a bit mental, doesn't it? Yes, yes. Yeah, it's the Alex Kid attack. Alex Kid giant bunch. Yeah. Turn bullets to the cards. One for yourself in case you get caught. Jesus. Yeah. Not bad though. We've got. Three med kits, well, three bandages, 64 HP. We're not doing too bad, but we've only got five bullets left. So we'll just run a gun later on, so good. Yes, yes. Racing the Beam, how you doing, Racing the Beam? Welcome. And this maybe is where you can have maybe armor pickup and stuff. Yeah, there's, we should be, there's like loads of stuff to add, tweak, expand on. The problem is, this competition, you're limited to 64k of memory. That's the that's the rules of the competition, and he ran out of memory. There's no more no more memory for stuff. So maybe CNG Soft could come back and make a 128k version of the game that had like maybe more stuff. That would be cool. That would be cool. Oh, how was the film Napoleon? Just seen Napoleon with your son, Racing the Beam. How was it? Has anyone else seen Napoleon yet, or was thinking of going to see that? I've kind of been a bit um, put off seeing Napoleon. Uh, they've seen um, Ridley Scott films. He's been a bit off the boil for many years. I've always thought um, Ridley Scott, but um... this 4K of memory reminds me of my mother-in-law. Go on, why is that, OSG? Sneaky, sneaky still. Bloody hell. The nade got me. Tried to stealth it. Ah! Don't let them get too close. Trying to keep that bottom wall close so they spawn at the bottom of the wall there below. You see that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Got a, that's a good amount of HP to be starting this level. Well, damn it! A lot of damage there. Got one bullet left. Oh, 
got no bullets. Please give me some bullets. Oh, it's more than med kit. We get a green light and go stealth. Oh, oh, cop! Yeah, the cautious stripes making your eyes a bit sore. It's not the smoothest scroll because it's going. It's a fast scroll. Go, go, go! Go! Can we do it, chat? Seven bullets left. I've got no bullets. Oh, 40 bullets. Thank you. Nine bullets. Come on, give me some more bullets. Please. Forty-three bullets. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, here we go. Last area. Big area though. One meg kit, 86 health. <gasps> it's looking good. Don't say that. Don't say that, Al. Four bullets left. One bullet left. No bullets left. One med kit. The door! The door! Yes! 
<laughs> we did it. We finally did it. We did it, chat. No snapshot saves or reloads. We just long played the full freaking game of Ally Box. No cheating. No, no, no nothing like that. Congratulations. The secret of the Ally Box is a floppy disk of Super Cauldron. Fortunately, the army still owns a working Amstrad CPC 6128 from its final sale back in 1993. Congratulations. We did it. Game over. You opened 16 crates, found six items out of six, and scored 17,600 points. Your rating, champion. Yes. And what says the Labyrinths of Lavator Lavatories has donated one pound? <laughs> Thank you, Labyrinths of. What? Congratulations, a winner is you. Thank you. Thank you, Labrity. What was that? Labr La what was it? Labyrinths of Lavatories. Thank you very much for the one pound. Thank you very, very much. Freaking out. I'm glad we finally did it. Jesus. That took some time. Two hours 30 into the stream, pretty much. Thank you, Man Shovel, for that dono there. Oi, oi, Man Shovel. Thank you very much. The congratulations, one pound there. Freaking hell. Thank you, Man Shovel. Thank you, Pumpkins, in the chat for Man Shovel there as well. Cheers, Man Shovel. Lavatories. Ah, I got you. I get you. Well, there we go. But there was um, Alloy Box. Go. There we go. And if you want to get that game for yourself, it's on itch.io for free. There we go. There's the link in the chat. Luminec, that's how you beat Alloy Box. And what a freaking game that was. I mean, that's heart pumping action there. Fast paced, run and gun. With a bit of stealth. Metal Gear style stealth. Almost. Almost. Thank you, Zombie Peaks. Worse than Rambo First Blood Part 2 end. Yeah, he had absolutely no bites of memory left. I mean, it was in 64K. And to be fair, there's a lot of game in there. There's a lot of great gra a lot of graphics there. Some, a lot of mu good music there. And uh, a lot of stuff packed in there, I suppose, in 64K. So, uh, not bad, not bad, yeah, I mean, not the greatest of endings in the world, but uh, I'll take it, I'll take it, thank you everyone. Uh, that ending is equivalent of having sex with your wife for two hours, and when you finish she says, I've had better. <laughs> <laughs> thank you Legion, hey Malamut, thanks for the GG's, thank you Anna, thank you FC, cheers Terrible Coffin. Thank you, Arnie. Cheers, Nish. Thank you, Salty Pasta. Thanks, Robin, again there. Zai is locked in hard of this. Look at that focus. I was Salty Pasta. I was there. Bloody hell. Uh, uh, Racy Beam says, This is the best looking modern CPC game I've seen in ages. Feels like something that would have been actually been released back in the day. Yeah! Definitely. Defo. Defo. Uh, no wonder it won, really, because it is full price quality. From commercial uh, from commercial CPC days. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please click a like below, leave a comment, and also subscribe if you haven't already. And over that way, there's another video for you to check out. Zypho out.